All right, I've been feeling guilty because uh, didn't make it out to the shop. I should be uh, I should be climbing in bed in about ten minutes. But uh, <laughs> uh, anyway, so this won't be very long, and I'll post it by itself or whatever. So I've got it pretty much set up for notching the tubing, and it's been uh, several years since I've played with this. So this is the first run. If it goes okay, it gets posted. If it doesn't, you'll never know it. Uh, okay, now this is a milling attachment uh, for a lathe roughly this size. So it doesn't mount up here quite right. Uh, one of these days I will make an adapter plate that it mounts to, that mounts down to that. Uh, but uh, it works. Anyway, the advantage to this, now, let's see here. This is a, this is a normal tool holder, okay, for the quick change post that I had on there. And it dawned on me after the fact that if I make a jaw that I can clamp the tubing into, uh, with a bar sticking on the side here that I can clamp into this, I can just get another tool holder and have my tubing holder mounted in the uh, in the quick change, which would make it so much easier because it's kind of a pain in the butt to take the uh, uh, the compound off and put this thing on and that stuff. the The biggest difference is is that this has a lot of room, okay? So as you can see, I can easily go down far enough. I could push the tube in and notch across the top and be able to have a saddle uh, mount there for, you know, a two inch piece of tubing. I can't do that with this. I could, I could raise it up and down in the tool holder to get uh, perfectly centered or a little off center, but not anywhere close to the kind of adjustment I can do with this. So let me, uh, this is just going to be a test cut. Uh, I'm just going to eyeball center there. And let's uh, let's see how it goes. We'll zoom it in a hair more here, I guess, just to so you can watch shit break if it does. Okay. Now I'm gonna do it on the power feed. So let me back it up and see if I like that feed. It's uh, as slow as it's gonna go. Oh, that's plenty slow. Uh, yeah, I'm sure that's. Uh, Probably too slow, but right, let's get it closer and see. Well, let's kick it up a bit. Let's kick it up a bit and see uh, see if it likes that. Oh, it's still nice and slow. Cutting lubricant on like uh, WD-40. WD-40 is not a cutting lube, but uh, I can lube it with that. This is just uh, coolant. Just to help wash some of the chips away and uh, keep it from getting too hot. I'm feeding it slow enough and a low enough RPM that it really shouldn't uh, be much of a problem. Look like I got the tube in far enough to get a complete uh, fish mouth. So. Oh, actually, I just barely made it. So, yes, I have a Harbor Freight, Harbor Freight tubing notcher. I could basically do the same thing, but. Uh, I think watching that just once uh, will uh, basically show you why uh, <laughs> you would want to do it this way, if you had the choice. So, let me, uh, so, the other thing is too, is now I left marks in here, this is just a test piece of tubing. What I will do is, uh, um, I have uh, I have this adapter made, okay, and this was made for the other tubes. And basically this side is once the piece is fish mouth, it goes in there and it locks. And then that way I could slot the uh, the tubing on another pass. Um, and I could, so basically I'm going to have to make something similar to this that will handle this diameter. It's, this is just a hair too big. And now that I have this on, I'm not going to put this back in the lathe and turn the diameter down to fit. <laughs> that ain't going to happen. 
Uh, so for, for testing for this, you know, I really don't care about these marks right now. Uh, but you can see that's a that's a beautiful uh, fish mouth. Let me. Uh, I wasn't in such a hurry, and I was uh, better prepared. Okay, so yeah, I think you guys can see that. Okay. All right. Now this is just a random angle. I have a complete guess on the angle. I have no uh, clue what it is. Okay. I haven't deburred it or anything like that either. So, but. Uh, if the camera focuses there well enough, you can see that that is just beautiful. Uh, and it looks like I got it pretty darn close to center. Really, really, really close. Okay. Um, I guess that's it for now. Let me uh, try to get this uploaded and get to bed.